What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Redditor of Aviation. Hope you guys are in a fantastic day today. And today we have a trip report on the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 from Tulsa International Airport to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport on July 22nd, 2021. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. And with all that being said, let's begin. I have just arrived at Tulsa International Airport. I have checked in and made my way through security. Overall, this was a fluid 30 minute process as I am flying with family today. We are currently making our way over to Tulsa International Airport's A concourse where American Airlines host all their flights here at TUL. And just like that, it is already time to board our American Airlines Boeing 737-800, November 804, November, November, as AA Flight 1572 was serviced to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. I'm so excited to get on board and let's do this. Welcome to seat 25F on this American Airlines Boeing 737-800. It is a beautiful early July morning and a perfect day to fly. Panning into the cabin right here, we have some sufficient legroom as we can see here in the main cabin, the 737 safety card, the new Oasis seating configuration, which is interesting to say the least, and I'm really, really excited for today's flight. Also, huge thank you to all of our ramp employees for being awesome, but my window is broken, which was unfortunate to say the least. We're our way to the Dallas Fort Worth Convention. So get a nice ride, quick ride, 45 minutes, we'll get you there. That's fast, that's safe, that's awesome. Also, even though the CDC has issued a guideline for the holy vaccine division, federal law still requires each person age two and older to wear a mask that covers a thousand miles at all times during the flight, including boarding and Let's push back everybody. Be sure to stay on the lookout for the full pushback and engine start videos that will be coming out very soon. We had a rather simple taxi to the active runway today. We took taxiway Juliet all the way up to Juliet 1 before holding short runway 18 left for our departure today. Let's take off everybody. Be sure to stay on the lookout for the full takeoff videos that will be coming out very soon. Let's do this. Takeoff. Let's climb to our cruising altitude of 22,000 feet. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, we made an unusual 90 degree turn to head west. This is not common for DFW departures. I'm assuming we did this to stay out of some sort of airspace, but I'm honestly not sure. I'm definitely not complaining about this superb view of downtown Tulsa though. Despite the unusual course, we finally made a left-hand turn to head towards Dallas-Fort Worth. I was so excited. And what a beautiful day it was to fly. Absolutely amazing. Here we go with the seat back contents. We have the 737 safety card. This is the October 2019 revision, which is not the most common. It may be a little more common now, but it was still super cool to see this. It has been a little bit since I've thrown, flown a 737, so maybe that's why, but safety card looking very good right there. Then we have the air sickness waste bag. That's also looking nice. Great to have that. Then we have the in-flight entertainment and information manual if you need any help with getting Wi-Fi going or any of that fun stuff. Man, I miss the American Way magazine. This was the first month that it was removed for, I believe, or it was so, it was somewhere during 2021, but still super sad not to have the American Way magazine, but if you need to connect to Wi-Fi, get all the movies going as we'll see here shortly, this was the perfect place to do as such, looking very nice. And here's a more in-depth look at our seat 25F. As you guys can see, we have a pretty good amount of legroom here in main cabin. There is the power outlet as well, the pocket for all the seat back contents, the safety card and the waste bag. Here's the tray table. Personally, I think it's a pretty solid size, not bad at all. And there's the little cup holder groove right there as well. Panning up, we have the USB port. This is a nice part of Oasis, probably the only pro in my opinion. There's a nice window right there as well. Here's the device holder. Very good for a tablet that's about the size of 7.5 inches, anything up the 10 inches very nice right there indeed and then we have the literature only pocket looking really good not a bad seat at all very nice and here's a look at the aainflight.com menu this is where you can have all your entertainment and all that fun stuff as you guys may know after connecting to the wi-fi on board the aircraft this first screenshot's kind of the home page crazy to see how short this flight was it was literally like 35 minutes unreal and then of course you have all the respective tabs on this tab we can see the flight pass the music and the subscriptions the flight pass in my opinion not to rip on american but i do not think it's worth i think 12 well okay let me rephrase this i think it's worth worth it on some flights but not many i think it's only worth it on maybe two to three plus hour flights i don't think that's worth the average flight which is usually anywhere from an hour to two hours but maybe i'm wrong but if you really need to get something done or anything like that it is 12 dollars. so there's that then you have free apple music that's also really really nice i am a user of apple mu music pardon me so this was really nice to be able to utilize this in the air so that was awesome and then the monthly plans these i do believe are worth it especially if you fly multiple times a week and the two device plan was really cool as well i mean if you want to have your phone and your computer going all at once that is a really nice plan as you can also see with this screenshot you can log on to aa.com and take a look at flights gates and times airport lounges cars hotels aa advantage anything that you would need to know on their website as well so that is very nice so looking really good let's get back into the flight Take a look at these remarkable views, goodness.
complement our unusual takeoff at Tulsa International Airport, we also had an unusual landing at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. We came in from the northwest and made a slight left turn to line up for runway 13 right at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. This runway is used pretty often, however, only for northwest bound arrivals from the cities of the likes of Seattle, San Francisco, Portland, Denver, etc. The Tulsa flight always normally lands on runway 17 left, 17 center, or runway 18 right, and my previous trip reports from Tulsa International Airport to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport can definitely back that up. Rarely will you see a Tulsa International Airport flight landing on runway 13 right. Despite all of this, it was still such a cool experience to be able to land on runway 13 right for the very first time. I was definitely a little confused on why I only saw grass till the final approach, but it definitely made sense once I figured it out and I was very, very excited to say the least. Anyways, let's jump into the conclusion of this flight as we approach runway 13 right at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I thought American Airlines did an excellent job with this flight. Even though it was uneventful inside the cabin, I still had a great time following our unique flight plan and observing views and landmarks I normally would not get to see on a usual TUL to DFW flight. The crew was awesome, the seat was nice, and the experience was satisfying. 25F on the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 is a solid seat in the main cabin, and I would recommend it to anybody flying an AA 737-800. Stay on the lookout for the full landing video when that comes out. Anyways, here's the landing on runway 13 right at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. Enjoy everybody. Welcome to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I am so excited to be back. Our gate today is Alpha 22 in the Alpha Concourse. It will take a few minutes to taxi across the airport, but let's do it. After a decent taxi duration, we finally made our way to gate Alpha 22 in the Alpha Concourse. Here's our arrival into gate Alpha 22 at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport.
Thank you guys so much for watching this trip report on board the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 from Tulsa International Airport to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Stay on the lookout for in-flight videos from this leg of the Daytona Beach trip along with the, all the upcoming legs as well. Thank you so much American Airlines for an amazing flight once again and I am so excited to share the upcoming flights with you guys as well. Also don't forget to check out the full Daytona Beach trip playlist so you don't miss any videos from this trip. With all that being said, my name is Red Derby Beach and I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy everybody, stay safe, trust the process, do what you love and love what you do. My name is Red Derby Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon as Red Derby Aviation is signing off.